Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss the fourth problem of uh, court forces round 1927 division 3 which is card game. So what is the problem? The problem is that we are uh, playing some online card game. Uh, the game is played using a 32 uh, card deck. So uh, this is as usual there are four suites. One is clubs, diamonds, hearts and spades that are uh, named as C, D, H and S. And uh, we have eight cards of the each suite. So from two to nine there are eight cards. Okay. Then uh, and we are also given some trump suite. So uh, what is trump suite? That is explained later. So we will be playing in round games. Okay. So in each round, the there are two players. So in each round, the first player will uh, uh, put one card, and the second player has to beat that card. Now how one card beats another uh, is important, and here the concept of trump suites comes in. So one uh, here that is mentioned how one card can beat another. So for uh, beating one card, the first condition is that uh, that the car, if the two cards are from the same suite and the rank of the second card is higher, then the second card is the first card. That is the first condition. And the second condition is that if the card is the from the trump suite, the second card is the from the trump suite, uh, and the first card is not from the trump suite, then the second card wins. And what is the third condition? Third condition is that. There, let's say there are two cards and each of them are from the trump suit then the uh, this is same as the first condition then um, if the rank of the second card is higher then that will uh, win okay so now we are given uh, two n rounds okay we are given two n rounds uh, and we have to construct our answer we, we have to construct our answer mm, that such that the game is possible now here you can see that if the second card does not beat the first card then the game will end so there will be some test cases where the answer is impossible also so let's take that case first so let's say uh, let's take the second case where the answer is impossible 3s 5d 9s and 6h okay so uh, you can uh, arrange these cards in different uh, orders but the answer will be impossible okay so uh, how we are constructing our answer for the first case okay so uh, the output will be in lines and in each line we will be having two cards one uh, one from the for the first player and the second one for the second player and the second card has to be the first card in all the three rounds okay so here you can see that 3c and 4c now uh, they are from the same suite so the four, second card is beating the uh, first card because 4 is greater than 3 now 6d and 9s so ace is from the trump uh, suit so that could be one s also one s would uh, would also beat the 6d but here it is 9s so it is also beating so for the third uh, case both are them from the trump suit and 7 is greater than 3 so they are beating so now this problem is one constructive uh, algorithm kind of problem so we have to construct the answer Okay, so how we can solve this problem so the here the time complexity is not really important uh, it is 16 it is important kind of because uh, the uh, brute force solution is uh, nothing but uh, 16 factorial or uh, rearranging the card uh, in order like 16 factorial so that is definitely not possible so let's think about uh, the cases okay so the, i will uh, explain my approach there could be some uh, different approaches also because it is a constructive algorithm problem and constructive algorithm problem gives different answer or different approaches so my approach is nothing but let's say we have uh, some cards from the non spade suites so let's say our spade suite is nothing but c okay so let's say uh, there will be some d diamond hearts and spades so we'll take all the cards uh, from the other suits let's uh, let's say we have 9 8 and 7 we'll sort them in descending order and uh, let's say this is 6 uh, uh, 4 and 2 let's say in the spades it is nothing but 6 and 2 okay and let's say c will contain nothing but 4 uh, 3 and 2 okay now what is my uh, algorithm i will take all the non trump suits and i will try to take two cards from each suits i will traverse from them and will take two cards so the our, my my first answer will be nothing but 9d and 8d so these are two these are two are done now there are odd number of uh, pairs uh, odd number of card lips so we'll take uh, another array let's call it as rim we'll take reminder array which will contain all the remaining cards now i'll put 7d in our remaining card set now uh, again we have uh, 6 4 and uh, so we'll take 6 uh, h and 
4H. So in this is 6H and 4H. I will put 6H and 4H and I will put 2H in the remaining card set. Now here I have uh, 6S and 2S. Uh, so we'll put our 6S and 2S in our answer. Okay. Now uh, the remaining cards are 2 and there are 3 cards in the tram suit. So the answer is definitely not possible because 3 plus 3 is... Uh, uh, okay, the answer is definitely possible. Uh, I think I have made some mistake. 3, 6, 3... Uh, okay, so 3, uh, 3, 3, 9 and 11. So the answer is not possible because we, we have to have even number of cards. So let's take 1 here again. Okay. So uh, we have two remaining cards, 7D and 2H and four cards from the tram suit. So what I will do, I will take the first card from the tram suit and we will take the uh, one card from remaining. So we will take uh, uh, 7D, we will take 7D and 4C. Okay. And we will take again 2H uh, and uh, 3C, 3C. So after uh, these are done, I will take... Uh, 2c and 1c okay now you have to arrange them in uh, proper order they are not arranged in proper order they, in the first case the first player is winning so we have to reverse the case we have to print 4h and 6h so uh, I, I have done that in the code uh, so let's jump into the code so he, here what I, I doing I am adding all the cards in the specific suits so D is uh, nothing but uh, an array or, uh, or an map of so D is nothing, D will have four, uh, you can say suits and each uh, suit will contain, so D of C will contain all the indexes. Let's say A, here uh, D of uh, C is nothing but 4, 3, 2, 1, an array. So D is nothing but an uh, map of array. Okay. Uh, so uh, if I is not the trump suit, S is our trump. So if I is not the trump suit, we are doing this operation. We are sorting them in uh, uh, reverse order. And we are doing uh, length of di is odd. So di is odd, that means that the last element will be of no use. So I will put the last element in our reminder array. And I am popping the last element also. And we are tra traversing over uh, the uh, di uh, list and uh, putting str, uh, I mean di and di plus one. So I will be putting 9d and 8d in our answer. Okay, so after uh, the, this part is done, now I will try to put all the remaining elements in proper order. So there will be some case of impossible here. If the number of uh, remaining cards are greater than the number of uh, our uh, trump cards, the number of remaining cards is 3 and we have only 2 trump cards, so we can't beat them. So the, then in, in this case, the answer will be impossible. Now uh, here this part is to, uh, to get rid of all the remaining cards. So we, I am putting the trump card as the first card and I am putting the remaining card as the second card. And after that I am sorting the trump card, uh, trump card uh, list and I am doing the same thing that I have done here. The same thing I have done here. And uh, at the end I am printing the answer. Here uh, you can see that I am reversing the answer because uh, when I am constructing the answer array, uh, the, my first card is of the second player. That's why when we, I am printing the array, I am reversing the uh, element. Okay. I hope you got my explanation. The problem is quite straightforward. Just it is a constructive algorithm problem. You have to construct the right idea. So I will provide the link of the code in the description box also. Uh, if you have any doubt in any part of the explanation or code, you can always ask in the comment section. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.